greetings again. If you want to receive additional updates, you can like this spoiler from Movie Lords. Say something, as well as join our channel. The Council of Regents is now under Ishido's power, as confirmed by Sujama's death in Shogun Episode 6, and this will have significant ramifications for the remainder of the series. At the conclusion of Shogun Episode 6, Lord Toronaga agreed to implement the Crimson Sky Plan after first declining to do so. The killing of Lord Sujama and the hostages in Osaka sent a message to all daimyos about who was really in charge of the nation, which was the reason behind Toranaga's choice. Sujama, like many other shogun characters, is based on Mitatashi, a real-life historical figure. One significant distinction between Sujiyama and the person on whom he is based is that the former was slain by Ashido's soldiers during the events of Episode 6 while the latter passed away from illness in Wadi 599. After the heir's mother returned, Ochiba no Kata and Ishido made several steps to kill Toranaga and impose her son's authority, Sujama's demise being just one of them. Since Lord Sujama understood Ito would serve as a pawn for Ochiba and Ishido, he declined to recognize Ito as Toranaga's substitute in the Council of Regents. While searching for a fifth regent someone who would accept voting for Toranaga's murder and show loyalty to her the heir's mother held a number of daimyos as captives. Sujama declined to vote in favor of Toranaga's execution, even though Lord Ito entered the council and cast his predicted vote. The Christian lord declared that he would not take part in any activity that would endanger the heir's life. Additionally, Sujama declined to participate in a vote that was only taking place as a result of hostages being held in Osaka. Even though there had been talk of impeaching Toranaga since the start of the program, action didn't start until Ochiba no Kata returned to Osaka. Ishido's inefficiency was criticized by Ochiba, who stated that she had no time for political games. Although Ishido and Ochiba collaborate, the latter's strategy is far more straightforward and produces outcomes more quickly. But not every daimyo is in favor of her and Ishido. Tsujama set himself up as a barrier for Ochiba and Ishido by declining to cast a vote alongside the other council members and declaring his disapproval of the current situation. The council needed to select a replacement for Lord Toranaga because they were unable to act without the unanimous vote of all five members. It was not possible to accept Toranaga's death without Sujama's backing. Ochiba rejected Ishido's suggestion that they remove Sujama from office and appoint a new council member since it would take too long. Rather, Ochiba gave Ishido orders to resolve the Sujama problem as soon as possible. As the Christian lord attempted to depart Osaka, Ishido and his men assaulted him. The official story holds that robbers killed Sujama, but everyone in the nation, including Toranaga, is aware of the truth. Now that Sujama is no longer alive, Ishido can locate a replacement regent who will vote for Toranaga's demise and endorse Ochiba. Since Ochiba and Ishido will have anything they want authorized and anyone who opposes them will be replaced, the council is now only symbolic. Tsujiyama's passing serves as a warning to all the daimyo in the area about the might of Ishido and the sway of Ochiba no Kata, as well as to the other regents. In Osaka, Toranaga won't have many allies because anyone who opposes the heir's mother would pay a heavy price. Toda Hiramatsu points out that even Toranaga's supporters are being compelled to switch sides due to Ishido's increasing authority within his castle thanks to Achiba. Lord Toranaga also had second thoughts about the Crimson Sky plan after Sujiyama's passing. At first, Toranaga declined to implement Crimson Sky, a scheme that called for a violent assault on Osaka followed by the removal of all regents. The Lord of Kanto declared he had no interest in becoming Shogun and thought they would never be able to beat Ishido in Osaka. But now that Sujama is dead, Toranaga is forced to carry out this plot. It will not be simple to seize control of the Osaka castle and dissolve the council, but that is the only option to halt Ishido. This paves the way for some exciting action-packed Shogun finales. The mother of the heir, Ochiba, feels that Toranaga was responsible for the attempted coup that led to her father's demise and now regards him as a serious danger to her son's throne. While Lord Toranaga is based on Togukawa Iyasu, 
Ochiba no Kata is modeled on the Sengoku princess Yodo no Kata. Major conflicts that would shape the nation's destiny are part of the true story James Clavel bases his work on. This description fits Toranaga's impending invasion on Osaka, as detailed in Shogun Episode 6. The main tactic of Shogun's Crimson Sky is a single, all-out assault on Osaka with the intention of overthrowing the council and installing Lord Toranaga as the only regent. Without having to answer to anyone else, Toranaga would rule on behalf of the heir, effectively becoming Shogun. The Osaka castle would be the target because there is where Ishido and Ochiba no Kata are now focusing their power. The goal of Crimson Sky would be to put an end to the conflict as soon as possible by choosing a short but fierce battle over a protracted conflict. At first, Toranaga hesitated to launch Crimson Sky, despite the fact that his alternatives were become increasingly constrained. This is because they would be heading toward their deaths and, in Toragana's opinion, lacked the strength to overcome Ishido. Furthermore, Toranaga has often said that he has no intention of becoming Shogun. Though he pleaded with his comrades to think of another plan, Toranaga soon understood that their only chance of defeating Ishido and Ochiba was to march on Asaka and seize the castle. It was evident that Ochiba and Ishido would stop at nothing to maintain power over the council when they assassinated Sujama for refusing to cast a vote with the other regents. The power of the Council of Regents has become symbolic, as decisions are now made by Ochiba no Kata. Ochiba demonstrated her determination to win this war by killing a regent and kidnapping several daimyos as hostages. Consequently, Lord Toranaga conceded that setting Crimson Sky in motion was the only way to safeguard the air and keep from succumbing to Ochiba's might. Toranaga said to Mariko that Ochiba is fighting with no honor, which makes it unpredictable what she will do next. But Toranaga will still reach out to his half-brother because the odds are still against him. Toranaga may have enough soldiers to win the battle that would determine the future of the region if Siki Nabutatsu consents to an alliance. Since this would be a land attack as well as a naval attack, John Blackthorne's leadership of the Cannon Regiment is anticipated to be crucial. With Lord Toranaga's Crimson Sky scheme, Shogun's next episodes may be the action-packed ones yet. The political chess match between Ishido and Toranaga had been the series' main emphasis up until that point, but Ochiba's return to Osaka altered everything. She promised the council that they would vote for Toranaga's execution as soon as possible, refusing to wait for the regents to finally deal with him. With Sujama's death, Toranaga is forced to join the battle because any daimyo who opposes Ochiba will meet their demise. Thank you once again, at Movie Lords. We provide you with everything you need to know. For more, like, comment, and subscribe to our channel.